So we're looking forward to the engine room. Forward to, the engine room's over here on my right hand side. So that's the bulkhead between the engine room and the living quarters forward. Mm -hmm. This metal tank I assume is the drinking water or the domestic water tank. This round thing is the level gauge. You can see all the funk and crud on top of it with the wires. So that's your drinking water tank. We found a tank up forward that was clear, not clear, but translucent plastic, and that was the sewage tank. So here we can see the bilge pump at the end of my stick. Ooh, look at all the crud. That means that the water came up above here. It definitely was above it. So you said the water came up to the carpet it, where yep. I'm kneeling yes, on the carpet did. right mm -hmm. there. So see this float switch. See that line? Mm -hmm. That's the goo line. And watch. Does it work? So you need to replace the float switch and yeah. or the pump and the electrical wires. Check the electrical wires to see if they're good. But this is one reason that you got a lot of water up here in the forward part of the boat is the automatic float switch was not working. Right, so we need to check on that. On Call it the um, stateroom bilge pump opposite from the galley, opposite from the galley. And these wires, I see some broken wires here. See that broken wire? Yep. So you might have some wire work to do. Well, there's two broken wires. But the end result, this doesn't work. We don't know if it's a bad wire, if it's a bad float, or bad bilge pump. So you'll just have to spend some time working that out.